Hello, AP Bio friends. Thank you so much for enduring a Unit 7 test today over evolution. Um, I know that the logistics were not amazing, um, but you guys powered through and doing my best to quality control all of you. And I'm going to try to get all of those things graded as fast as I can. But that's not really the purpose of my video right now. It's really to focus on updates that have just been sent out by AP College Board. So I'm going to minimize myself in the corner here and show you how you have now been impacted. And it's a bit of a bombshell. So just coming out this morning, we have updates and basically AP is flipping out on how to ensure that we can deliver AP tests to everyone. So um, key points to take away, the full exam schedule and everything uh, is going to be updated by April 3rd. So I don't have super, super specific information on that just yet. Um, but that is one thing that's going to be coming soon. There are also going to be some extra features unlocked in AP Classroom that I will, I guess, sift through and then push out to you. Um, key features that are highly impactful to you. Um, the AP exam for this year only has been now amended. And what that means is previously you had two sections of the test ranging for a quite a long period of time. But now for all examinations, it is going to be a 45 minute online exam at home. So I'm guessing you're gonna take it in some fashion similar to how you've been taking the test you just took through the AP uh, Classroom website, but it is now a 45 minute only test. Um, they still have no criteria about what that is going to look like but that highly impacts what you guys will be doing. Um, it will be a apparently streamlined exam that you could do on any device, and there will be an option to do handwritten and uploaded photos, I'm guessing similar to what you guys did for the cladograms. And then if I scroll down, um, they have put together this table that will mention exactly what question type so again, I don't really know what it's going to mean for biology, <clears throat> um, whether or not 45 minutes will include only multiple choice or also include FRQ questions. I'm not really sure. There will be some formal test dates, um, but the window has been expanded into um, uh, like a later date, I believe. So that will be coming soon and I'll keep you updated. The hugest thing in addition to now it being a 45 minute test is this right here. What AP has done is they have said that only the learning up to early March is what they are going to hold students accountable for. So what that means for us is that only units one through six are going to be on this year's AP test, which means no evolution and no ecology, which is unit eight. Um, for the class, for AP Bio class, we are still going to go through unit eight because ecology is one of the cornerstones of biology. You're going to need to know it for college. Um, I'm abridging it, meaning that I'm trying to <clears throat> streamline it as much as possible. Um, I might have one or two quizzes uh, along the way, but I've already narrated all of the PowerPoints. I have it all laid out and I'm going to send that out with this video um, with a timeline of events. I don't want you reviewing for the AP test for the next six weeks. That seems insane. So we're going to go through and learn ecology, and there will be a test similar to what you just took in terms of evolution um, for AP class. Just know that in that 45-minute test window, Unit 7 and 8, evolution and ecology, will not be on the exam, which is going to be tricky because as we do review, a lot of the practice exams are going to have those components. So I would just go through and prepare for those exams as if you know all of the information and then that'll just set you up for success uh, when you do actually take the test. With that said, um, evolution and ecology are two of the easiest units and they oftentimes made up about a quarter of the AP test. 
So what that means is the test might be a little bit harder because it doesn't have those buffer type questions in evolution and ecology. So thinking about gene regulation that our class did not do well on as a whole, that might be a little bit more present on the test and thinking all the way back to unit one. So as we move forward, um, I'll lay out the timeline for all of unit eight. Um, the tentative test date for that is 420. We will have at least a month to review and I will be available to review all of those things and I have practice tests and everything. I just wanted to push out that information as soon as possible to know that evolution and ecology are important concepts. You do need to know them. They are a little bit easier, but they're not going to be showing up on that AP test. So kind of crazy. And that's going to be true for all of your AP classes. So just kind of scrolling through those of you who might be in calc or chem, um, I'll scroll through now so you can kind of see that if you're in any of the other ones, it's going to affect the English tests. Um, some of you are in human geography. Um, some of you are in physics. Uh, so just know that we just learned about this today. We're going to try to figure it all out, but I wanted to give you the information sooner rather than later. Perfect way to start spring break, right? All right. I'll be sending this out in an email with the timeline of unit eight. Thanks.